Welcome back to my channel and let's wade into shark infested waters with Chum as this video looks at episode one of season three of The Boys, a show which takes an alternative look at superheroes who are celebrities with dirty secrets. And The Boys are a group of regular people who appoint themselves to uncover and stop them. And this is my 100th video. So as a special treat, I've thrown in a few extras to celebrate. So let's, cr let's cross those bridges when we burn them. Welcome to Tac Tac Toys with Film. So admittedly, like Stranger Things, I've been behind on my viewing of The Boys, and I've only watched the first four episodes of season one. Like I said before, it's a gory take on the darker side of superheroes, but I found the episodes in season one a bit long for my taste. However, watching season three, episode one was absolutely great. So the episode is entitled Payback, and essentially catches up with the characters in a state of truce between Billy Butcher's group, whom encompass The Boys, and Homelander and his team of super-powered heroes. And in the opening of the episode, there's real shock value in one of the deaths of a character when a super is being targeted by Billy Butcher and his colleagues. And there's an interesting scene where Billy Butcher and Homelander compare notes as they are frustrated with the authorities around them. And it's clear to see that their love is not lost in the idea of them working towards a solution. So overall, it's a really good episode. It's a little lengthy again for my tastes, but I would give the boys season three, episode one, four out of five stars, and hopefully the rest of the season can follow this promising start. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps the channel, helps keep you informed on my latest videos. Have you seen the boys? What are your thoughts on the show? Let me know in the comments below. Now, of course, we've had NECA and Mafex action figures of the boys already, and the Mafex offerings look particularly nice and will scale really well with other 6-inch action figures in your collections. What characters have you collected from the boys so far? Have you picked up the NECA figures or the Mafex ones? I think the Billy Butcher and the Homelander from Mafex look really great, and the Black Noir that's upcoming will be a great addition to a growing roster of characters. And for the latest action figure reviews, check out Dan Who Reviews, the Wolfpack Toy Review, Cowboy Collector and Jay's Toy Collection UK for action figure reviews and some live streams. And for all the latest film and TV reviews, check out filmandtvreview.com. Links for everything there in the description below. And as I mentioned at the start, it's my 100th video. So thanks for everyone who's watched, commented, liked, subscribed, all of that. Um, you've helped me get to this and there's plenty more videos to come. And as a special treat, let's look at some new figures relating to the TV and movie world uh, that have come out. And first off, let's look at Hot Toys Zombie Doctor Strange. Wouldn't he be a great character to have in Marvel, to have in Marvel Legends form? Let me know your thoughts and comments below. I'm a six inch collector, so personally, I'd love to see a Zombie Doctor Strange or Dead, Dead Strange, as he might be called, in Marvel Legends form. Moving from Hot Toys from Super 7 Ultimates, we have Toho Burning Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. Burning Godzilla being from the 1995 film Godzilla vs. Destroyer, and Mecha Godzilla being from the 1993 film Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. And they are the second wave of Godzilla Ultimates. Are you a Godzilla fan? Are you tempted to go and watch some classic Godzilla with these Ultimates on the horizon? Let me know in the comments below. And staying on the subject of Super 7, it looks like the company will be making the infamous death of Optimus Prime as an Ultimates figure, which was so closely associated with the Transformers animated film from the 80s. And I can remember this shocking me as a child and being etched in my young memory. Were you a fan of the 80s movie, animated movie? Were you affected as a child by Optimus Prime's death? Welcome to Optimus Prime Death Anonymous. Well, that's maybe another video for another time. But this is a Super 7 Ultimates release you'll pick up. Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like a film or TV series reviews and an action figure line discussion to accompany it and can afford a small donation, head on over to my Fiverr account. Link in the description below and I'll give you a shout out on my channel. So that was my 100th episode, mainly focusing on the new series of The Boys on Amazon Prime. Until next time, enjoy those flicks and figs.